Hi all, very welcome to my channel. So today in the session we are going to understand what are the views in SQL Server, types of the views like basic views or we can say standard views and uh, we have a materialized or indexed views as well. So we'll understand. First of all, uh, the views are nothing but a virtual table, which uh, I'm sure you might have uh, seen in number of sites. Like if you wanted to, if you ask anybody, uh, will he or she will say that it's a virtual table. That's fine. But virtual table, which will retrieve the data from the multiple physical tables. Okay, but what is the need of creating a, a basic views or the standard views? Okay, so the very first uh, uh, reason of creating a view is like uh, for the column security purpose. Let's suppose you can see this table I have implied it is where we have employee ID, first name, last name, gender, higher date, department ID, shift ID. Let's suppose that higher date is a sensitive information about the employee and we don't want it to uh, show to the certain set of the users, right? So this is called the column level security which we wanted to apply. But uh, in SQL Server, we have a table level security. If we want some set of the users don't want to, you know, uh, should not see this complete table, then we can apply a. So you can see here. Uh, so let's say higher date, I don't want to. So this is basically views are created to restrict a users to see a specific columns. Okay. So what we can do, we can create a basic view. So those kind of views are called the basic views where we, we will show only the employee ID, first name, last name, gender and department uh, gender. Let's suppose four columns or three columns only and we will hide these things. So that is the security purpose, column level security purpose. We will create a basic or standard views. Although there is no <clears throat> there is no performance gain if you create a very simple basic uh, uh, standard view. So let's uh, let's I will create one basic uh, standard view here. Okay, so I have already created this one basic. Uh, let's I will show you this is the syntax to create a basic. So you have to create view. Then you have to you have to give the name of the view. And because this is a basic, why I'm saying basic? That's I, that's why I create I have given the naming naming convention like this because I'm just uh, display three columns here and hiding other columns okay so if you execute it you can see only three columns I am displaying here and I'm keeping all other columns as hidden so this is nothing but a view creation which is already been created here actually so that's why so this view is created if I wanted to get the data from here so select a strip from view okay so this is nothing but it will go and uh, it will go and get the data from the physical table. This is my physical table. If you can see employee detail is the my physical table. Okay. Let me copy this here. So this is my physical table you can see and this is the basic standard view which I have created. So if I execute both of it, you can see this is the physical table which is having this much data. Now created a very simple basic or standard whatever you can say. This is a basic uh, view which we have created and what is happening when you execute it in the backend it will not get the data from the view itself rather the controller we go to the uh, physical table fetch the required columns and display it to us that means there is no storage occupied by the view so that's why it is called the virtual table okay so benefit is only that we can hide some sensitive columns we can provide the column level security to the, to the users Okay, so this is the one. Although if you can see the performance wise, there is no uh, performance gain in the basic or standard views. Okay. And, uh, but if you create, this is very simple. If you wanted to create, a, as we know that views are, um, we can create a views to get the data from multiple tables as well, not only from one table. Here I have created basic, which will extract the data required column only from one table. So let's suppose I have, I will create one basic, uh, uh, one complex um, views okay so here uh, I have created one complex view I'll show you this is the complex create view view name I have given the uh, nomenclature so that it will uh, provide the information what is the intention of this view so this is a complex why it is complex because it is getting the data from employee details department details and shared details so it's getting the data from three tables and there is no index on it okay so you can see only specific four columns from employee details, one column from department, that is department name, and one column from shift details, which is shift name. Okay, so this is the 
view which I have created here. So if this kind of view you have, which has already been created, I have, to save the time I have already created here. Okay. So if you wanted to see <clears throat> if this type of view you have created, so what is happening? Then in instead of physical table, rather it will give the bad performance. Okay, because see here there is no performance gain. But if your index, uh, I mean, if you have a view like this, let me execute. Uh, let me execute here <clears throat> and show. Okay, let me execute all of those three and enable uh, the execution plan. So you see, this is the first query. Okay, this is this is the first query uh, execution table scan. Okay. If you go to the second, this is also to table scan because this is exactly the same we have. And then you can see the third third query, which is this one. Okay, complex no index. I have executed these three queries in a one batch. You know what is that batch, right? If I select, that means this is one batch. So that's why you can see. Let me execute one more time. So you can see and I have enabled this uh, actual execution plan. So if I click on this, I enable it and I execute it. You can see the execution plan. So query one, this is the query one, query cost related to the batch. Relative to the batch, that means uh, as compared to this uh, batch, this took 6% of the cost, okay? The second query took 6% of the relate, uh, relative to the, to the batch. The third is, that is we have created a view, complex view having no index in it. And it is, you can see, it is taking overall 87 of related to the batch. That means it is giving very bad performance. Okay. So views are, if your view is very complex, then there is no benefit of performance gain. Rather, you will face a performance degradation. Okay. So, uh, so uh, if you, so in such case, to increase or enhance the performance of such kind of views which is complex and which is need to be executed frequently we have to create an index on such kind of views if we create an index on such kind of views those views are nothing but a materialized views or index views those type of views we can termed as a index views or materialized view so i have created one um, materialized view okay you can see so create view, this is the view, if you see here, complex, and this is the same, same uh, structure, if you can see, the same structure I have here, okay, and first, only the thing is that I have added an index, but you can see in this, there is no index, right, first of all, we will create an index, but before that, I will tell you one thing, that whenever you create an index on a view, a complex view, okay, then you have to bind the schema, with the table okay with schema so this syntax you have to use with schema binding what is the meaning of it why do we use it because we haven't used it here we haven't used in creating when creating a basic uh, view because the thing is you are going to create an index on it if suppose you create an index and uh, by mistake you drop this view so uh, or by mistake you drop this table okay then your view will not give a results and it will be there will be data inconsistency to avoid this we have used the schema binding so that it will uh, create kind of a constraint that will not allow you to drop any of this table employee details department details and ship details when you do this create schema binding that means this view is tightly coupled with this three tables and you are not allowed to delete these or uh, drop these two tables three tables i'll show you and this view is already been created, executed. See, there is an already uh, object. So if I try to drop this table, employee detail. If I try to drop this table, cannot drop table because it is being referred by the referenced by this object. Okay, this is the kind of a constraint or the we can say validator that will be done by using the schema binding. Okay, so uh, this is the syntax of, syntax of creating a materialized view. Now, once schema binding will be done, you let me remove this. Now, you have to apply a cluster index on your view. Okay, so this is the syntax create unique cluster index. Give the name of the index. 
I will term that uh, I have given as IX underscore employee detail because our physical table is employee detail basically. So we need to create this index on which uh, view we have we wanted to create on this view. Okay, so give this name and what are the columns which will be included in your cluster index. So I have given all these columns. Okay, employee ID, employee name, uh, gender department name, shift name, which I have in the select statement. So this uh, index I have created on this cluster. Okay, this operation failed because I already have this cluster index on this view. Okay, so this is nothing now. It is nothing but a materialized view. Meti materialized view. Okay, whatever this spelling. Materialized view. Okay, now what is the difference between this? Uh, as we know that the simple uh, view is a virtual table as we say that it is a virtual table it will not hold any storage capacity okay but the moment you create an index on the view that means it will uh, store the space how because you see this index is nothing but a separate kind of a table which will hold the values of only this cluster ids i mean only of this uh, employees which then uh, only this uh, columns which is again referred to, uh, I mean, uh, uh, referred to the uh, their column, uh, their rows, okay. So this is a separate kind of a table which need to be stored on the disk. So that's why the materialized views is having a storage capacity. The data will be stored here, okay. Although the data will be retrieved from the physical table, the three, tab three tables, but the index is there. So this is the physical index is, uh, so the, uh, there is a, some storage will be involved to store the uh, these values in the index table so that's why there is a storage capacity here now if you wanted to see the performance yes there would be a performance gain if you create an index okay so let's say now let's talk about the performance of this if i try to execute this one with department id one you can see relative to the batch 100 percent table scan okay no good performance because there is no index Let's say we have uh, this basic uh, view with no index, okay, and only the required three columns. Execution plan, you can say the same table scan. There is no performance gain in view. Just for the security purpose, we are doing it, okay. Security purpose, we can say column level security. We have to say column level security and no performance. Same as we we used to extract from the physical table, it will give the same performance. Now, if we have the complex view, okay, with no index, and if we wanted to extract some particular employee ID, so if you see here, this will be a very bad performance. You can see it is having cost seven percent. You can see in employee uh, table, this is a table scan. Then there is a table scan in the shift detail also. The cost is seven percent. Then in the department detail, cost is seven percent, so it's uh, not a good, you know, performance. So to avoid this performance or to gain some performance, what we need, we have created a materialized views and added the index. Let's see the same query. Let's execute, and this is the complex index. Execute it. Execution plan. You can see cluster. Uh, okay, you can see cluster index seek. So this is this will give the better performance okay cluster index a so that's why we have to create so it's totally dependent on your requirement if you have um, you know if you have a passive data like uh, you have olap type of database engine where the data is not uh, most of the cases it is not frequently updated in that case you can uh, you know create this index and you will get the data in faster uh, uh, in very less time okay but if you have a OLTP type of the database where the da data is need to be frequently you know updated in the back end in that case basic uh, view is fine where uh, uh, we, you, we can, you can hide the column security as well as well as uh, uh, since it is a virtual table it would be a virtual table uh, it will uh, it will not uh, you know get more uh, you know uh, I mean then it will be a fine if you are using in the uh, OLTP type of where the data is like uh, oh, let me write it down OLTP online tra transaction processing so this type of 
for this you have you can use the normal and for this type of OLAP you can use the index one so I hope you like the video and uh, put uh, put your comments in the section uh, in the comment section if you have any doubts thank you and have a nice day